<laughs> Dave, what are you having over there? There's a lot of thirsty people in Maplewood. There's a trend of building garage bars. My name is John Garbarino, and I am the owner of the Gar Bar, which is a garage bar at my home. Did you try this? There's not a lot of options in these towns in New Jersey. It sort of fills the void of having a real close, walkable local pub that you would have in New York City. Because like it's spicy? I'm known for my Bloody Marys. There is no license required. We're not selling anything here. People just kind of walk over. My plans to create a bar in my garage really came from realizing that this really could be a better space than it was where I was dumping all my crap. It's something that my wife has totally bought into because it's become such an important part of how we entertain. People around town realized that they also had great spaces and they wanted to convert them, and so we've become good friends. People have asked me, you know, what does it cost? It ended up being probably, you know, five, six thousand dollars. To the car bar! Yay! When I met John, it really opened my eyes to what having a cool bar in your garage could do. Welcome to Smitty's Tavern. A garage bar is no different than someone wanting to start a bar in their basement, but the fact that it's detached is great because you don't have to have people in your house being quiet. It gives it the ability to have the feel of a real bar. I kind of just looked around Pinterest, made many trips to Home Depot. I've spent probably a couple grand on it and I just got the kegerator. So is it an elevated man cave? You could call it that. It's kind of a newish phenomenon. To me, the more the merrier. Welcome to Sloppy Joe's. A perfect space to not be bothering the kids if we're having a drink after they've gone to bed. I'll take a Miller away. John's bar is definitely the most advanced of the bars, but I would probably prefer to come spend time at Sloppy Joe's. John doesn't always have the beer I like. We have a dartboard, some old Star Wars toys. We have a few little games. Yeah! The name Sloppy Joe's, I didn't know it was a sandwich in America. It's just getting sloppy in England. I don't serve Sloppy Joe sandwiches, but I have just invested in a pizza oven, so there might be bar pies in the future. If I franchise the bar, the next one will be called Sloppy Seconds. I'm Phil DiGiulio. This is the Barport. I met John on the train after about 15 seconds of him telling me about a startup. He, he pivoted to, you gotta see my bar. I was intrigued. I looked at my garage and thought, no, not enough room. And so my wife and I thought, why not build kind of an outdoor tiki-like bar under our carport? It's got an outdoor deck that's weatherproof. Concrete bar, top, lacquered. It's got outdoor seating, encapsulated in cedar, so weatherproof. It's got a TV, it's got two taps. It's got a hammock swing. I spent under $10,000, probably in like the eight and change range so far. The fact that I was able to Google construction of a bar, you can build a bar. It doesn't have to be an expensive bar. I hope my ex-wife doesn't hear this. I've sunk close to 100,000 into the garage mahal. John Garbarino, he's a big inspiration for me and, and this place. I spent $15,000 putting this door in. The doors and the windows were upwards of probably $35,000. A lot of the windows are imported from Argentina, and all of these tiles that are 100 years old, there's no Home Depot in here at all. It sort of organically came into sort of a Moroccan, Californian hangout. Friends come by, and they're encouraged to put the fez on. You put a fez on, everybody's an idiot. There is a really nice pub in town, but it's nice to, to feel like you're saving a few bucks to come over to your friend's house, and you can do whatever you want. It's a little tight. It's Dan's, it's Dan's shirt. It's a little tighter than it used to be. We definitely visit each other's bars for the uniqueness that they each bring. Who is the best bar? Do you really want me to answer that question? Yeah, who is the best bar? The Gar Bar is really sort of the gold standard, just because it was the first one. I always thought John showed how you can take it to that next level. John's bar is definitely the most advanced of the bars. I'd love to have his fireplace. If I'm envious of anything, it's all the history that he's had. It's a very seductive place, I have to admit. Some women have really let their hair down. 
I have to crown John because he's inspired so many other people. John Garbarino is an inspiration to mankind. Whenever I'm going over to people's houses, I can't help but sneak into their garage and check out the space and think about what they could do with it. Maybe someday I can go around helping people convert their garages into bars.